Now I show you how to do the calibration of the forehead, three two zero zero pin head, and uh, you go to the main menu, tools, the calibration part, and just start calibration. Next, the first step is angle check. You can see this is K00, K10, K20, and K30. So this one is first printed, this is second, this is the third, and this is the fourth. Uh, in the coverage here, this is the first, second, third, and the fourth printed. So how to do the calibration? Just check this line, this line, and uh, this line, if on uh, straight or not. If not cracked, maybe like this, or like this. So, how to do the calibration here? I just, for example, on the head for now, okay. So, loosen the four corner screws one, two, three, and four. Loosen the four corner screws and use the screwdriver. To adjust it here or here, then let the uh, this, this two lines be straight. If it's straight, it, it is okay. Make sure the four color all is okay. Four head all is okay. One, two, three, four all is okay. And the uh, YMCK all the lines all is straight. That's it. That's an angle check. And uh, the next step is a vertical check. Vertical check. I clicked it. So the same. This is H one, head one, head two, head three, head four. Just to make sure is base color. As you can see, this is sign, magenta, and yellow. Make sure that uh, K sign alignment with the K, just uh, alignment with the K, just one line. If not okay, maybe like this. So you need to move the sign a bit forward. If like this, the sign is here, black is here. So move the, you can move the sign a little backward. So make sure the CMY alignment with the K, the head 2, head 3, head 4, the principle is the same. This is a vertical check. The next step is overlap check. Overlap check. As you can see here, to check if it overlap or has, has gap with each other. You can see just like this, so there is gap with each other. And if it overlap, maybe like this. So it's overlap. So how to adjust the angle? The angle check here, vertical check, and overlap here. The three physical adjustment, all is within the four corner screws, they adjust to the front two screws. That's it. After uh, adjust it, so tighten the four corner screws. That's it. This is the physical calibration. Now we back to the next step. This is the calibration in the print manager software. So. I choose uh, if you want to use high speed, just to use uh, 360 dpi and uh, small ink dot is VSD3, variable ink dot 3. 
so for VSD3 and 360 DPI, choose this one to calibrate. So I change the original position. So this is group one, group two, group three, group four, and uh, this is left element. I should should print it. How to carry this one is just make the zero alignment, same as before, like the middle alignment. So, <coughs> if not correct, maybe like this, you can see not alignment with each other. So, just like the, the line, the thin line, be straight. So, if you, if we maybe here is correct, so you minus four, if here is correct, so you plus four. Group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4 is here to adjust. You can see, you can adjust the value here. And the next step is right alignment, just the same as left alignment. I just print it and you check it. After you change it, must be click save. Must be click save. So all the parameter is saved in the print manager software. So if you change the computer, so just remove the copy the software to another computer. That's it. And I print it. The next step, right alignment. I print it. Same principle, letter, letter zero alignment, be straight. The same principle. And also change the value here. After changing the value here, just click save, click save. And the next step. Next step here, you choose the group, group all calibration, group all calibration. Then you click, this is by direction, I print it. Same principle, less the zero alignment. And change the value here, change the value here. The next step is, uh, just save the next step is the left alignment and the right alignment. I just print it, you check it. Just let the zero alignment, then you change the value there. Let all the principle is the same. Let the zero alignment. Let the zero alignment. Then you change the value here. The right alignment is the same principle as left. And the next step is vertical check. I just printed it. You check it. Just a vertical check, same as before, the physical, just like the yellow, magenta, sign, and K, alignment, uh, uh, yellow, magenta, sign, alignment with the K, just a zero, that's a zero alignment. Next step is overlap.
for the next step is the feed adjustment. The feed adjustment is the base pass is one pass. If you want to do the printing with three pass, you must calibrate the base pass, one pass first. So you change to one pass, then you print it one pass. After finish the one pass, you just uh, take a cancel. Otherwise, it will print again and again. So you can see if the C the zero alignment is not or not. You can see here minus one, uh, plus one is better. Plus one is better. You can see just this thing line if it's alignment, which one is better? You can see plus one is better. So here. Pass one. I pass one and uh, I change the value. The very base step is change. So after change, you check it again. As you can see zero almost alignment with each other, so that's it, it's okay. So if you want to do the two pass or three pass, you must uh, adjust the one pass first. So if I want to do the three pass, I will choose three pass and print it again to check the feed adjustment. So that's the zero alignment. You can see only a little, maybe zero point. Uh, here you can uh, compare with plus one, uh, plus one and minus one. You can see plus minus one a little better. So almost good. So you can minus maybe zero point three, minus zero point three. That'd be perfect. So here minus three point three. And change it and uh, you save the parameter has to be save it and uh, we finish all the calibration you press next so finished calibration has been finished so finished and uh, are you sure to access to the calibration reward so I press yes that's all the process of the calibration part that's it thank you